The Anglers and Falmouth Commodores meet up at 5.30 p.m. here in Falmouth. Let's welcome Catch of the Day guest Billy Biesinger, former Chatham Angler, current Falmouth Commodore. Billy, how are you liking Falmouth so far? So far, it's been excellent. Um, just to be back down the Cape again, it's something that uh, everyone dreams about, and I got, finally got the opportunity to come back down in the end. I jumped right on it. Take me through your journey here so far this summer, because it is a unique story. Uh, well, yeah, it's been a... It's been quite the summer. Uh, after I left you guys in Chatham, I uh, spent a week in uh, Bourne with the Braves, and I uh, spent a week down there with them, and uh, they had guys come in, so I was released. And then I, uh, I went out to uh, Holyoke with the Blue Sox in the NECBL, and uh, that didn't really work out the way I hoped it would, and I uh, came back home, and... Uh, I think it was uh, eight days or ten days later, I got a call from the GM with Falmouth, and uh, here I am now. What were your reactions when you found out you'd be with Falmouth for the rest of the summer? Uh, well, I, I actually thought my uh, summer baseball was done, and um, I was ready to just work out at school and work out uh, back home, lift every day, and uh, hit every once in a while, and just basically rest up. But uh, when, when Mr. Clark called me, I... Uh, I jumped right on it and came down. Now, how is it? How important is it for you to stay here on the Cape League? Because you've seen any CBL competition. Now you've seen Cape Cod competition. There's clearly a difference, right? Yeah, there's clearly a difference. Um, the pitching in the Cape League is outstanding, and uh, they say it's a pitcher's league, whereas the NECBL was more of a hitter's league. It was a young league, mainly uh, see a lot of freshmen and uh, sophomore pitchers with the NECBL. But, again, that was great competition, and uh, I was just – just lucky I got the opportunity to come down again. Now, what's changed since we saw you in Chatham? Obviously, you got a little haircut. We see that. But anything else? Not much. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, not much. Just the haircut. That's about it. <laughs> now, tell me what you can learn from this experience going into your senior year at Babson. I'm assuming you'll be in a leadership position with the team. Um, it, the only thing I can take from this is the uh, excellent brand of baseball that's played down here and the, the friends. Um, Oh, the Chatham team, great bunch of guys said hi to them before the game, and I don't know, it's just I made a lot of friends. You've seen Bourne, you've seen Chatham, you've seen Falmouth. As a town, as an atmosphere, tell me what they're like. What's the flavor? You know, there's definitely differences between a place like Chatham and in a place like Falmouth. These places are pretty far away, too, about an hour, 15 minutes. Uh, Falmouth is pretty similar to Chatham, although Chatham's uh, a lot smaller, and I feel like it's more close-knit. I've only been down here for five days, so don't have much to say about Falmouth except that the experience has been awesome and the the um, the host family I'm with now has been awesome. I'm living with the pitcher on the team, Mark Pope, from Georgia Tech, and uh, you know the guys on the team have been very welcoming and uh, it's been great. More fast food chains in Falmouth, right? More fast food chains, <laughs> but uh, they feed us well. Not as, not as good as uh, as uh, Chatham did, but. You know. What are the difficulties of moving? Because you've had to move from place to place. Is it tough to live, up, live out of your suitcase a little bit? Yeah, living out of the suitcase has, has summed up my, my summer. Um, it's been easy because the guys have been so great. Um, you know, I thought it would be a little more difficult coming into this team. But uh, they've accepted me well, and it's been great so far. Now, the Cape League is a developmental league, and you've worked with now four different sets of coaches. What have any of them told you that you were able to work on this summer for yourself? Um, in Chatham, uh, Dave Miller, the hitting coach, gave me a lot of pointers about my swing. Um, and here, it's uh, just reps every day, ground balls, hitting in the cage, and uh, hitting on the field is a lot more than I expected I'd do, a lot, uh, do this summer. Now, what about the team from a competitive standpoint, this Falmouth Commodores team in fourth place? Is, is it tough to keep up, or you can't really think about where you are in the standings at this point? Uh, yeah, we can't really think about it. We just got to win. And, um, you know, every day is a, t is, is a battle, and uh, you just got to keep grinding it out, grinding it out, and uh, hope you get in. Were you surprised to hear about Chatham's struggles recently? Because when you were here, they were on a roll, and then you leave, and, and they went through a rough patch. Yeah, I was uh, pretty, pretty surprised because uh, the great talent they got and, and the excellent coaching they have, too. But, um you know, the league's so competitive top to bottom, there isn't really much of a separation. Now I ask all the guys on the catch of the day, what player do you compare yourself in the majors? Ah, jeez, that's a hard question. I, uh, I'd probably say uh, David Eckstein. 
just because he's a scrappy guy. Doesn't have, uh, he gets everything out of his talent. What do you try, who do you watch and who do you try to model your game after? Is Eckstein a guy that you'll definitely pay attention to when you're watching the games? Yeah, Eckstein, I like uh, the way Chase Utley plays just because uh, pound for pound, he's probably not the strongest guy, but he's, uh, you know, he gets everything out of what's he, what he puts on the field. Billy, thanks for talking with me. All right, thanks a lot. It's Billy Biesinger of the Falmouth Commodores, our catch of the day. I'm Scott Braun on the Cape Cod Baseball Network.